What's up everyone, John here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about maintaining your wool felt fedoras and maybe even making them look a little better than what they did when they came from the factory. Make them a little less hairy. You know, I was sitting on the couch the other day and my girlfriend was gone to the movies and she came in from her night out and uh, she walked in the door and she started screaming. She said, John, John, there's a possum in the house. And I looked at her and I looked at where she was pointing and I said, no honey, that's, that's my hat. And she said, well, you need to trim the damn thing. And I just, and I said, well, you know, now we're talking about that. I, you know, I think I saw a beaver in the bedroom there and I, she, and I said, yeah, just scurried right into bed. With me. Oh, she's not going to like that one, but the saga continues, folks. Anyway, guys, we're going to talk about how to take your hat from looking like this to looking a little more like this. A much smoother finish, a little bit of a sheen to it, still not what you'd get from a wool felt hat like, or a, a fur felt hat like I showed you in my last video but we are going to get some pretty big improvements on this. You can see I've got my band taken off of this, and my hat band taken off. I leave all of my hat bands removable just because I like to put festive bands on. I sold my own hat band, so I've got like a Christmas one, which also will work for Valentine's Day. I put a candy cane in for Christmas. I can put a little heart in there for Valentine's Day and all these things like that, and just like dress up and be festive because I mean, you know what? These are accent pieces and just, have fun with it but anyway i want to show you guys how to do that it is so simple and so easy so here's what you'll need you're going to need a shoe brush and that's it uh now i would recommend you go out and you pick up a shoe brush that is that you're going to use specifically for clothes this is a shoe gear brand uh also i have a kiwi brand that i use for shoes but i mean this either one i picked this up at walmart a shoe brush will work fine for something as robust as wool. I know a lot of people will say that the horse hair is a little too rough for using as a clothes brush. Um, you know, maybe for your more delicate fabrics, yeah. Uh, but for a felt hat, you know what? It works great. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna go around this thing, and I like to go in a counterclockwise direction. Uh, doesn't really matter what direction you go in, actually. Uh, Stetson says counterclockwise is the way you should go around the hat to follow the nap because their machines spin the hat clockwise. So you should go counterclockwise to get the same effect with your brush. But that being said, all you're doing is you're just forming a nap and refelting these loose hairs back into it. You're not actually trimming the hairs off of this hat or pulling them out. You're just taking all these little pilled up bits and you can actually see a little wool fiber. See if I can get it to focus here. Some of these wool fibers are actually pilling up and forming into pills like you'll see on wool sweaters and things like that. And all you're doing is you're taking those before they can felt themselves into a hard pill, you just felt them back into the hat and go all the way around. And you can listen to this, how that's just grabbing onto it because there's so many little pills on there and the texture's so rough versus this, this side is very smooth. So I've been working on this side of the hat and I just wanted to, I just worked on this side just to give you guys a good demonstration of the difference that you get. So the hat actually, one, I think is cleaner and this is a good enough reason on its own to brush your hat and have a hat brush or a clothes brush. It gets your hat cleaner, but also the finish is much more uniform. Now, after I felt the hat and also to get back to what I was talking about earlier, um, when you're doing that, you're forming a nap. You know, if you don't know which direction the nap of your hat goes in, you're gonna form a nap anyway. Just pick a direction, stick with it. I do counterclockwise because Stetson says that, but uh, you know, it's really, you're gonna form your own nap on the top as the little fuzzies come up and you comb them back down. So just go ahead, pick a direction and stick with it. Now what I like to do after I've finished brushing the old possum is I like to take my hand and just give it a good pet. And uh, that's just gonna lay those fibers down and really get them integrated with each other, I think a little better than those horse hair fi those the horse hairs will, which sort of agitate them and can sometimes maybe pick them up a little bit. This is just gonna press them right down in there. And it's gonna give you that nice, smooth sheen that you would want from a hat. And that looks a lot better. This looks a lot better than that. Real easy, takes about 10 minutes. Real easy to do. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful, informative, helpful. And I will see you in the next one. Later.